Okay. Now, uh, Cikgu dekat sini ada nak bincangkan satu topik. Okay, the topic name we call them as a linear inequalities. Ataupun dalam bahasa Melayu kita panggil ketaksamaan linear. Okay, ini adalah topik form 1 yang mana semua pelajar kena tahu. Because this is very very important. Okay, now. Dalam topik ni, kita ada beberapa nota yang saya dah, cikgu dah sediakan untuk anak-anak murid saya. Okay, yang pertama, number one. Okay, if you notice properly, okay, we got four symbol. Kalau ada yang perhatikan, kita ada empat jenis simbol ni. Okay, we first one, we call them as a bigger, lesser. Lebih besar atau lebih kecil. This one, bigger than equal ataupun lesser than equal. Lebih besar atau sama dengan lebih kecil ataupun sama dengan ok, sekarang you must notice one thing very clear cikgu, this one kita panggil satu kategori yang ni kita panggil satu kategori yang ni, if you see, bawah dia tak ada anak so, bila tak ada anak, ini kita panggil jenis yang pertama bila ada anak dekat bawah, we got equal dekat bawah ni ada anak, kita panggil dia satu kategori are you ok? so, sekarang, nota yang kedua cikgu, we got two types of symbol kita ada dua jenis simbol satu bulat Okay, satu bulat Yang lagi satu bulat dan warna Okay, cikgu Yang ni bulat tak ada warna Bila bulat dan tak ada warna Maka kita akan guna simbol dia lebih besar atau lebih kecil Bawah dia tak ada anak I repeat back again Kita akan guna simbol yang tak berwarna ni If bawah dia tak ada anak I will use the simbol yang warna If bawah dia ada anak Are you okay? Are you okay? Now, sekarang I repeat back again Tak ada anak, we going to use one circle without color. If got anak, circle with warna. Are you okay? Now, sekarang, yang ketiga. Cikgu, I'm going to explain this to you. Okay? Now, what you going to notice here? Okay, cikgu, you tengok sini. Huh? Okay, now, look at this. Here, the symbol is not color. Okay, the symbol is not color. And then, dia mengalir ke mana? Kanan. Dia going to right hand side. So, bila tak warna, bermaksud kita akan guna simbol yang tak ada anak. Are you okay? Now, sekarang, X bigger than apa? 2. Cikgu, kenapa you guna nombor 2? Sebab dia start dekat nombor 2. Sebab tu, I write number 2. Okay. Now, dia pergi ke kanan. So, kita pun pergi ke mana? Kanan. But why tak ada anak? Because here got no color. Are you okay? We look at this. Okay, we look at bawah ni, nombor soalan nombor 4 ni, yang konsep nombor 4. Okay, now, here what happened, they go to the left hand side, they are going to the left hand side, dia mengalah ke kiri. So, X, lebih kecil, what number? 5. Are you okay? But, look at this, sini dia warna. Bila dia warna, bila dia berlori, maka we must use the symbol we got anak. So, I'm going to go this. Are you okay? Now, class, I repeat again. Sir, Disebabkan dia tak berwarna, tak ada anak. Disebabkan dia berwarna, maka got anak. Are you okay? Dia pergi ke kanan, kita pun pergi ke kanan. Dia pergi ke kiri, kita pun pergi ke kiri. Are you okay with this? Okay. Now, lepas sudah faham topik ni, okay, konsep dia, kita nak buat beberapa soalan. Mula-mula kita akan pergi pada dalam layan yang diadarkan tu, dalam WhatsApp, bahagian B soalan nombor tiga. Bahagian B soalan nombor 3 Ok, now kita tengok bahagian B dulu ha? Cikgu belum masuk bahagian A dan bahagian C ya? Saya nak terangkan dulu Ok, now mari kita lihat Cikgu, dekat sini dia kata Lesser than equal Yes or no? Dia mengalah ke kiri Yes or no? Tapi ada anak Bila ada anak, kita akan guna Benda yang ada warna dekat dalam Yes or no? So, boleh ke ini? Tak Boleh tak ini? Boleh. Ini pun boleh. Tapi ini mengalah ke mana? Kanan. Dia going to right hand side. Ini pergi ke mana? Kiri. So, dia pergi ke kiri. Yes or no? So, the first answer for this is this one. Are you okay? Now, yang ni pula. Cikgu. Dia pergi ke kanan. Ini pergi ke kiri. Pergi ke kanan. Pergi ke kanan. Yes or no? Now, ada anak ke? Tak ada anak. Bila tak ada anak, maka kita akan guna yang tak ada warna. So, this is answer for this. Are you okay? Then, ini. Cikgu. Dia mengalah ke kanan. Go to right hand side. Ini go to left hand side. Ini go to right hand side. Yes or no? So, kita akan pilih yang pergi mana? Kanan. Tapi, ada anak. Bila ada anak, maka dia ada warna. So, ini jawapan dia. Are you okay? Now, ini. Cikgu, dia pergi ke kiri. Ada anak ke? Tak ada anak. Pergi ke kiri. Ada warna ke? Tak. So, maka ini adalah jawapan. Are you okay? This is the rough concept. Are you clear? Okay. Now, 
let's go to part 2 soalan bahagian B soalan nombor 1 eh okey cikgu terangkan konsep dia dulu okey just now we got do notice this properly now look at this ah huh? it's going to the right hand side dia mengala ke mana sebelah kanan ada warna ke tak ada warna tak ada if no warna means we going to use the symbol without anna maka we going to write x pergi ke kanan ada anna ke tak ada anna no anna because got no warna so we going to write number 1 2 Are you okay? Now, example 2. Kita tengok pada sini ya. Eh? Look at this. Eh? Now, it's going to left hand side. Dia mengalah ke mana? Kiri. Here got warna or not? Yes. So, X less than. Ada anna tak? Here got warna ma. If we got warna, that means got anna. So, lesser than equal. Number 1. 3. Are you okay? Now, this is what I'm going to highlight to you. Okay, very very important, very very important. Huh? I put a three star. Okay, cikgu, dekat sini what happen? If you notice here, huh? here ada dua dua dalam satu soalan yang sama. Just now example one and two, one line, one line, one dot, one dot here. Yes or no? But here you see, here got two dots. Yes or no? Now in one line, ah, huh? cikgu, kalau macam ni how to write? Okay. Kalau dalam satu soalan tu, we got two symbol. Dalam satu soalan tu, kita ada dua dua symbol sekali. Maka semua kena mengalah ke sebelah mana? Kiri. Dia bukan kanan atau kiri. Semua kena mengalah ke kiri. It must go to your left hand side. Okay, for example, look at number two and number one. Five. So, we go to right. Number two. And then number one. Five. Now, kita akan tulis X dekat tengah-tengah. Are you okay? After that, look at this. Huh? Sini. Got warna or not? No warna. No warna means tak ada anak. So, kita akan pergi macam ni saja. Are you okay? Cikgu, ini ada warna tak? Yes, ada warna means got what? Ada anak. So, lesser than apa? Equal. I ulang balik. Cikgu, a bit confused. Okay, never mind. I explain slowly to you now. Look at this. Huh? Cikgu, this example 3 is very important because dalam satu number line ini, ada dua-dua simbol ini. Kalau dia ada dua-dua simbol macam ni, maka semua pergi ke mana? Sebelah kiri saja. Macam tadi, look at this. This one, we go to right hand side. Because arrow dia ke kanan. Ini dia go to left hand side because arrow dia ke mana? Kiri. Now, sini tak ada arrow. Dia tulis macam ni saja. Kalau dia tak tulis apa-apa, semua pun kena mengalah ke mana? Kiri. But, why this one got no anna? Because, here got no warna. Why here got anna? Because here got warna. Are you okay? Now, clear that? Okay. Now, look at your exercise bagian B. Question number 1. Yang ni, ya. Eh? Okay. Cikgu akan terangkan one by one. Raja PQR ialah 4 garis nombor. Diagram PQRS are the 4 number lines. Diagram PQR dengan apa? S. Oh, look at this. Dua-dua pun dalam soalan yang sama. Dua-dua pun dalam soalan yang sama ataupun raja yang sama. Yes or no? Okay, now, look at that. Based on the above diagram, circle the correct answer for each of the following statement. Berdasarkan raja di atas, bulatkan jawapan yang betul pada setiap pernyataan yang berikut. Okay, now, sini. Look at this. Ada anak tak? Tak ada. Bila tak ada anak, maka tak ada warna. Belakang dia ada anak tak? Yes. So, yang mula-mula kita pergi ni ya. Tak ada anak. Bila tak ada anak, we look at this ha. Tak ada anna, tak ada warna. Betul? Dia got warna. Cannot. Tak ada warna. Okay. Warna. Cannot. Tak warna. Yes or no? Then ini. Belakang ada warna tak? Yes. Bila ada anna dia, maka itu adalah apa? Warna. So look at this. Belakang punya kena warna. Ini warna ke? No. Ini yes. Tapi ini dua-dua. So the answer should be what? Q. I repeat again. Why Q? See here. No color. No color. No anna. Color got anna. Are you okay? Now look at Roman number 2. This one. Huh? Sir, both also got anna. When both also got anna means both also will be what? Warna. So look at this. Both also got warna. So the answer is what? R. Are you okay? Now look at your Raja 3. Okay. Uh, Roman number 3. Depan got anna. Belakang got no anna. Got anna means warna or not? Yes. Is it warna? Yes. Belakang got no anna. Is it warna? No. So the answer will be what? P. Are you okay? Now, look at this. Now, if you look at this. 
Raja PQR. Huh? This one. No Anna, no Anna. No Anna, no Anna means both must be odd. No Varna. Look at this. Both or no Varna. So answer will be what? Yes. Are you okay with this? Okay. Let's go for part number three. Bahagian A is a different concept. We will try that. Okay, now, sekarang ni, listen to this uh, video clip very carefully. I'm going to compare. Okay, cikgu akan tunjukkan apa perbezaan antara ini equation dengan linear inequalities. Huh? Okay, cikgu, last time apa yang kita buat? Contoh kata, 2x plus 1 equals to 5. Okay, now, we going to find the x value. Kita nak cari nilai x. If we want to find the x value, we must throw the 1 to that side and then 2 to, to that side. Yes or no? So, what we do, mula-mula kita akan throw the 1 plus 1 to another side. When the plus 1 I throw another side, become what? 2x equals to 5 minus 1. Are you agree? Then, 2x equals to what? 4. So, now, sir, kalau dia duduk rapat-rapat, kalau mereka duduk rapat-rapat, in between got what? Times. Times I throw they become what? Divide. So, what happened? x equals to 4 over 2. So, x equals to what? 2. Are you agree? Now, this is what we learn for the linear equation. Ini yang kita belajar untuk persamaan linear. Now, inequalities what happen? Benda yang sama tapi ada sedikit perubahan. Okay. Now, for example, let me show you. Now, if you notice for the same question, I'm writing on the different side. Huh? This side here. 2x plus 1 bigger than 5. Okay, sekarang ni apa beza? Dia ada benda extra macam ni, yes or no? Dia sudah ganti dengan tambah dengan untuk simbol yang macam ni. Okay, bigger, lesser, bigger than equal atau lesser than equal. Now, if I want to find my x value, kalau saya nak cari nilai x, same process. Plus 1, I throw there become what? Minus 1, yes or no? So, apa yang kita buat? Plus 1, I throw there become what? Minus 1, yes or no? So, what happened? 2x... Bigger than 5 tolak 1 2x Bigger than what? 4 Yes or no? Now x Bigger than 4 over 2 x Bigger than apa? 2 Are you agree? Cikgu Benda yang sama You see Benda ni tak tukar Okay Kita tulis balik sama saja Why? Depan unknown dia Tak ada negatif Eh? Cikgu, confuse a bit lah. Okay, let me explain now. Cikgu, in front of the X, depan X ni, nombor dia positif ke negatif? Positif. Kalau positif, simbol ini tak akan berubah. I ulang balik. Kalau depan X, nombor dia positif, maka simbol ini tak akan tukar. If in front of the X, the number is positive, Therefore, the symbol won't change the direction. Are you okay? Now, let me show you another one more example here. Then will be very clear. Sir, look at this. Huh? Blue side. Huh? Okay. Sir, 2x. Okay. Plus 1. Bigger than 5. Tapi, now I put negative dekat sini. Now, look at this. Huh? Sir, I'm going to find my what value? x. So, the plus 1. I throw they become what? Minus 1. Are you okay? So, what happened? Negative 2x bigger than 5 minus 1. Are you okay? Negative 2x bigger than 4. Are you clear? Now, look at the differences. Huh? Cikgu, tadi nombor dia positif. So, tak tukar. Now, the unknown is negative. Yes or no? Depan x got negative number. If in front of x got negative number... Then the sign will change. I repeat back. If in front of unknown the uh, number got negative number, then the sign will change. For example, look at this. Huh? X less than 4 over negative 2. Therefore, X less than negative 2. Are you okay? Sir, look at this, my explanation here. Sir, I'm going to use a different uh, color so that you'll be easy for understanding. Now, look at this. Here is the X. Here is the X. But here is positive. When positive, the sign won't change. 
if unknown got negative kalau unknown dia ada negative the sign will change are you okay now let me give you another one more example then will be clear huh sir let me write down here this is the okay let me put negative 4x minus 1 bigger than equals to 15 are you okay with this now so sekarang look at this huh we got written there as what negative 4x minus 1 bigger than equals to what 15 are you okay now my job is to find my what value x value so my first step sir negative 1 i throw they become what positive 1 are you agree so negative 4x bigger than equals to 15 plus 1 are you okay now sir after that negative 4x bigger than equals to 16 are you okay now you tell me huh? sir the sign never changed because we haven't disturbed anything with the unknown yet are you okay so now you tell me in front of unknown got negative in front of unknown got negative number depan unknown nobody adalah negative so cikgu kalau depan unknown dia nobody negative maka sign ini akan tukar direction dia dia akan tukar arah dia so x lebih kecil atau sama dengan tengok dia sudah tukar can you see tadi dia mengalah ke kanan now mengalah ke kiri why depan unknown ada negative so 16 over negative 4 so x less than equals to what negative 4 this is the answer are you okay now sekarang what i want you to do okay in the bagian A, okay, if you notice the bagian A here, okay, there's a question, objective question, got eight questions, okay. Anak-anak murid, tolong jawab bagian A dengan selengkapnya. Dalam video yang kedua, cikgu akan bincangkan semua jawapan dan cara jawapan dia. Boleh tak? Cara nak jawab tu, cikgu akan bincang. Is it okay? Okay, thank you.